Welcome to a Traceable Products instructional video for the Traceable Refrigerator Freezer Ultra Thermometer. In this video, we will learn how to view your high and low alarm, how to set the high and low alarm, how to stop an active alarm, how to enable or disable your alarm, and the alarm properties. If you don't require a lesson about all of these features, simply click on the subject you would like to review and the video will automatically take you to that lesson. Otherwise, your video will begin in just a moment. Let's get started. Viewing your current high and low alarm. For this lesson, we're only going to use the mode button located on the front of your device. Press this button until your screen displays the words high and low as shown here. Once you see high and low, you're all done. You are now in alarm display mode, viewing your current high and low alarms. Setting your high and low alarms. In this lesson, we're going to use the mode button on the front of your device to enter alarm display mode. Then we're also going to use the low and high buttons located on the back of your device to set the low and high alarms. Before we get started, we recommend that you disable your alarms so that it doesn't ring while you're trying to set your high and low alarms. To do this, look at the back of your device and locate the switch to the very left with the small bell next to it. Slide this switch down to off and we'll enable it again after we're done. Now turn your device around and let's get started. First, press the mode button on the front of your device until the words high and low appear on your screen. Once these words appear, you're now inside alarm display mode and we can begin to set our high and low alarms. Turn the unit around and locate the low and high buttons. These are the buttons we'll be using to set our high and low alarms. Each press of the low button or the high button will increase your current low or high alarm by a tenth of a degree. If you'd like to increase your values faster, holding either button down will rapidly increase the digits. If you pass the number you need, keep increasing the value until you reach the max temperature range of your device, which in this case is 70 degrees Celsius. Once you try and exceed 70 degrees Celsius, the number will drop to the lowest your device can read, which is negative 50 Celsius. Continue increasing your value until you arrive at the one you need. Once you're happy with your values, go ahead and turn your alarm on again by sliding the alarm switch to on and you're all done. At this point, your alarm may ring as your probe may not be inside the environment you need it to be in just yet. Press the memory clear button on the front of your device and it will stop the current alarm. Don't worry though, once your current temperature falls in between your new high and low alarm, it will be ready to ring again if it falls below your low alarm or rises past your high alarm. Stopping an active alarm. There are two ways of stopping the alarm. Let's take a closer look at each one now. The first way is to turn your alarm off by sliding the alarm switch located on the back of your device to off. You'll notice the correct switch as it has a small bell right beside it. This method will turn your alarm completely off. The second way to acknowledge your alarm is to press the memory clear button on the front of your device. This method will stop the current alarm, but it will also continue to alarm you for new alarms. Enabling or disabling your alarm. If you prefer not to have your alarm enabled at all, you may do so with the flip of a switch. Turn your unit around and locate the alarm switch to the very left. You'll notice the correct one if it has a small bell beside the switch. Simply move the slider down to turn it off or move the slider up to turn it on. Alarm Properties For this final lesson, we're going to discuss the alarm. This lesson requires no action from you, but is simply an additional lesson to educate you on how your alarm works. Let's get started. When your 4730 thermometer alarms, it will continuously ring for 60 seconds. After 60 seconds, it will ring for 3 seconds every minute until you acknowledge the alarm.
To acknowledge the alarm, simply press the memory clear button on the front of your device. 